Kathy Reichs is one of only 100 forensic anthropologists ever certified by the American Board of Forensic Anthropology. She was a producer on the hit television show Bones, which was based on her work. That's extremely impressive, and, and you know, that you, to, to do that much writing and continue to do the scientific work is kind of amazing. What drew you to the field of forensic anthropology to begin with? What, 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 what made you want to study that field? Well, actually, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I kind of got pulled into it. Um, I trained in bioarchaeology, which is excavating and analyzing ancient human remains. The paleopathology and paleoepidemiology of two lower Illinois River Valley Hopewellian populations. Has anybody read that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed that one. I'm sorry. That was my dissertation. My mother read it. But <laughs> <laughs> that was my dissertation. So I was very happily working um, at UNC Charlotte in my lab, working on old materials, when um, police started bringing cases to me. I, I tell the story of this um, in the book, The Bone Collection. It's the collection of shorts uh, for, well, I'm not so good at the short part of short stories, so my short stories tend to be more like novellas. But there's one in there which is an origin story. It's called First Bones, and it, it describes this, um, th my entree into, into the field, and it happened in just that way with police showing up and saying, we've got this skeleton, and you know, would you take a look at these bones? And um, So I liked it. I, I really liked the, the relevance. Uh, not that archaeology isn't relevant, but if you're wrong, you'll get into long debates in the literature with your colleagues, and you're not going to impact anyone's life. Whereas with forensics, you are. When you identify um, a set of remains or when you testify in court, you are, and you better be right. So I really liked that. I liked the relevance of it, and I retrained, and I became board certified and switched over. So, so there was a period of time when you were still kind of doing the, the stuff that you had done your dissertation on and that kind of thing, and the police were coming to you kind of on an ad hoc basis. Yeah. What was that like the very first time? Did you, did you, did you, was it unexpected, or you heard other people in your position being asked to do this kind of thing? I had heard of others doing it. Um, I did part of my dissertation, re actually that's not true. I, as an undergrad, I took courses at, I went to, um, hello, American University, in Washington, D.C., and took courses at the Smithsonian. So I was aware of my major professor there. Uh, the FBI or um, local law enforcement would bring cases to the physical anthropologists there. So I was aware of people doing it, but it was just not something that was on my radar. Uh, 